hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so i'm going to do a brief recap review of cruise summer episode seven happy birthday kate wallace <laughs> okay so this is alternate in between august 29th 1993 1994 and 1995 kate wallace celebrates her birthday all right so in 1993 jamie tells rod he got kate a promise ring now rod for those of you who don't know is kate wallace's stepfather after he gives it to her kate is uneasy jamie gets drunk at the mall with kate and her friends and the two accept a ride from mr martin right but mr martin drops off jamie first and then drops off kate afterwards and she touches his hand and stuff like that so i think let me tell you, i think with kate wallace i think she likes mr martin i think she has like a crush on mr martin and that whole thing with jamie at the mall acting immature it's like she was over him you get what i'm saying the more she was around mr martin the more she was over jamie okay so Excuse me if you hear any background noise. <clears throat> Later, Kate arrives late to a dinner celebration that her mother Joy planned to find planned for her. Um, and she already sees that it's over with already. So fed up with lies, Kate reveals Joy's affair to Rod, her stepfather, and Joy, lying to cover her tracks, slaps Kate. Now, Kate is devastated by this, so she packs her bag and runs away to Mr. Martin's house. Now, why would you go to Mr. Martin's house um, to run away if you didn't feel no type of way for him? He's, what, the assistant principal at the school? Yes, he's nice looking and young. And she just, I just think that she felt safe around him and she you know talks to him she's very open with him kind of i just think she has a crush on him okay so in 1994 kate is unable to eat or sleep okay after inviting mallory over for the first time and disclosing this to her the two get high along with ash ash is Kate Wallace's stepsister. That's Rod's daughter. My thing with Kate, with Mallory, I don't like her. Something about her is off. I don't like her at all. I really don't like her at all. Um, because I think they didn't show it, but when she was throwing away the printer and she asked if she could have it and stuff like that, she opened it and she was like, holy, whatever. And I don't know. I just... I, I just don't like Mallory. And in the way she talked to Joy um, about, you know, trying to take up for Kate and stuff, I didn't like that because I would have slapped the holy crap out of her if she would have talked to me like that. And I would have slapped my daughter too. But violence isn't the answer. But in this case for Mallory, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like Mallory. I think something is up with this girl. I really do. Now... Meanwhile, Joy pressures a reluctant Kate to go on a talk show. Oh, that talk show gets on my nerve. And, and we didn't even see it yet. Which she later agrees after a random girl claims Martin had once tried to abduct her as well. And she was sitting there saying, they're lying. This is not true. Her mother looking confused. It was just a whole big thing. But my thing with Rod, the stepfather, he has... He has more of a connection with Kate than Joy does, okay? And Joy, she just, I just don't, I, I don't like Joy either. I really don't. She just, mm, a snob, for one. And number two, if she didn't have Rod's money, where would she be? But anyway. In 1995, Kate continues listening to her therapy tapes before Mallory brings her to this roller skating ring to celebrate. Back home, Mallory finds out that Joy was behind the liar letter on the Wallace's door. Now, that that right there threw me for a loop. Why would you do that? Like, it was just, that whole episode just really, really, like, if I was a drinker, I would have 
downed a few shots. The only person that brings me peace watching Cruel Summer is Vince. Because he's not into no drama. He does his thing. He works at the video store. He's still friends with Jeanette Turner. Okay. He didn't turn his back on her. She the one that, you know, pushed him away. But he was he's right there whenever she needs him. And it's like, he's the only person that like really brings me peace. But, but, I'll get to that in a minute. All right. So now Kate confronts Joy who reveals that she's upset Kate never forgave her. Derek discovers Ash anonymous messages with Kate in the online chat room and prints a copy to take to Jeanette, giving Jeanette the knowledge that Kate had originally gone to Martin's willingly. So, but see, this is the thing. Kate didn't know she was talking to Ash online. I did not know Derek and Ash was, you know, laying up either. I, I I thought they were just friends. I didn't know they was laying up. But when he went to ask her if he could check his emails and stuff like that, she went in the bathroom and didn't hear him. So when he went to her computer, he saw all the stuff and was reading it. And of course, he's going to protect his sister as he should and give her every types of proof and evidence that she needs for her case. He printed it out. Hmm. he printed it out and gave it to her and she was like wait what and it's the proof she went to mr martin's house willingly he did not kidnap her so now we cooking with a lot of grease here now we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere so for next week's episode is number eight this is a 10 episode series next week is number eight it's gonna be called proof and we're gonna i think they're gonna pick up from <clears throat> This information is new information that has come across about Kate Wallace. Okay. Well, like I said, it was going to be a brief recap and review. I enjoyed this episode. It was good. Um, it was a lot of, you know, they always do a lot of back and forth. They always alternate in between the, the years of 1993, 94, 95. They always alternating. Um, Kate has become very rebellious. I don't like her hanging out with Mallory. I can't stress that enough. I don't like Mallory and I don't like her hanging out with Mallory. But, but, but we will see. Because episode nine is going to be called A Secret of My Own. And episode 10 is going to be called Hostile Witness. So we don't know what those are going to be about yet, but we got time. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you watch Cruel Summer and you like it, let me know in the comment section. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, subscribe. It's free. You know, it's free. So, you guys, that's it. That's all I have for tonight. And I will talk to you guys later.